What's happening, Crypto Farm? Welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning, Apple. Oh, the US is suing Apple for throttling crypto and other innovative apps and payment solutions. This is fascinating. This is basically US regulators finally saying, Apple, you're taking the piss. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> the US sues Apple for shape-shifting rules that throttle crypto apps and others. Apple's App Store rules enforcement arbitrarily penalize and restrict developers that compete with the tech giant's monopoly power, says the Department of Justice. This isn't small. The United States Department of Justice has slapped tech giant Apple with an extensive antitrust lawsuit claiming its app market rules and monopoly illegally throttled competition and suffocated innovation. The March 21st complaint in a New Jersey federal court supported by 16 state attorney generals alleged Apple has a monopoly in the smartphone market. And it has used the f <laughs> it has used it to force developers to use its payment system to lock in both developers and users on its platform. Apple's App Store guidelines and developer agreements impose a series of shape shifting rules and restrictions that allow the company to take higher fees, thwart innovation, offer less secure or degrading user experience and throttle competitive alternatives. This is alleged by the Department of Justice. The issue could be the reason why many crypto-based apps today offer only limited functionality on iOS. Now, whether you're part of Futureverse, you're just OpenSea on Apple, you, you, you've come across this to try to take the big 30%. You sell your NFTs, so people understand NFTs already sometimes have a 10% resale fee that goes to the original creator, sometimes it's more than 10%, then you've got to give 30% to Apple, giving away 40-50% of your asset, or your sale, who's going to do that? Who's going to do that? And should they be even allowed to do that? We want decentralised platforms, not this centralised shite. It's beyond me how they still have so many Apple users. We'll get to that at the end. I want to know in the comments how many people are Apple users, how many people see this as, oh, well... How many people are not bothered by it? Because it clearly, yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> it's fascinating. Um, Apple's anti-competitive conduct not only limits competition in the smartphone market, but also reverberates through the industries that are affected by these restrictions, including financial services. Now, you start messing with financial services <laughs> and the guys at the top are like, bro, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Apple policies have ousted alternative payment systems in a way that were anti-competitive and exclusionary. Also highlighted the 30% Apple tax, a fee the company charges for apps and in-app payments whose content, product or services it did not create. The fee and Apple payment systems are fiat compatible only and have walled off the use of crypto in apps or made it not economically viable for the crypto-based app to offer in-app purchases. Apple offers certain enterprise and public sector customers the ability to offer their own apps through custom app stores. But iPhone users and developers are restricted from such alternative app stores as they would compete with the big tech players' fees. This is all remarks from the Department of Justice. Apple often enforces its App Store rules arbitrarily and it frequently uses App Store rules and restrictions to penalize and restrict developers that take advantage of technologies that threaten to disrupt, uh, disintermediate, compete with or erode Apple's monopoly power. Some non-fungible token marketplaces such as OpenSea have disabled functionality on their iOS apps as NFT sales are subject to the 30% fee. The Bitcoin-friendly social app Damus also had to kill a BTC tipping feature after Apple delisted its app because it was routed through its in-app payment function. Where'd it take to cut? Web apps, those based online, available through web browser and outside the app store, are still under Apple's control as the firm requires all iOS web browsers to use its WebKit, uh, its WebKit browser engine. 
The Department of Justice also alleged that Apple has denied access to competing digital wallets that would provide a wide variety of enhanced features and bar developers from providing their own payment services to their customers. An Apple spokesman talk <laughs> Let's see what they gotta say, eh? An Apple spokesman <laughs> told Coin Telegraph that the Department of Justice complaint was wrong on the facts and the law, and we will vigorously defend against it. They claim the lawsuit set a dangerous precedent, as it could give the government the power to take a heavy hand in designing people's technology. So it sounds like Apple don't want the government and the communities to tell Apple out and, and businesses how to make the tech for them. But Apple want that power. Apple's like, whoa, all you can't have the power to tell companies how to make the tech. Only we can do that on iOS. Now sit down and show... <laughs> oh, stop it, Apple. Stop it. Set a dangerous precedent. In the European Union, the Digital Markets Act has forced Apple to offer alternative browser engines, payment functions, and app stores. Although the company still has an approval process in place as it claims the new options threaten user privacy and security. No, it threatens their privacy and security. It threatens their monopoly. If, if the majority of Apple iPhone users switch to Android... Apple would likely disappear within a year or two. They just couldn't sustain themselves. It's this cult community that they've built that allows them to, to be one of the top tech companies on the planet. Don't make me fucking laugh. They make phones out of other people's tech. Yeah? Best tech, tech company on the planet. Go on. <laughs> Come on, man. So the shares fell 4% on the day. Um, they stayed flat in the in the trading hours i've not really looked at since that but let me know in the comments are you an apple user and the throttling of crypto and alternative payments is actually starting to do your head in a little bit and you're contemplating leaving to an android phone or another another developer's phone maybe you've ordered a solana phone um, to get a proper crypto phone let me know in the comments what you think I think this is great. I think it's just putting a foot down on Apple and saying, listen, stop it. We know this is going to happen eventually right across the board. As decentralization, it's mass adoption. And people start realizing that there's much fairer, more economical and efficient ways of doing things that they can't monopolize. Yeah. It, it, there's going to be much more demand much more demand not only on tech companies but on governments themselves on banks on everything to be more decentralized to be fairer across the board so what do you think how long will this this could be years in the making of actually pro turning the tides against capitalism i'm interested to you know who the, who the 16 people are who are supporting it and who doesn't support it <clears throat> because yeah it's got to stop the root network, they had issues with it. Not only the thirty percent, but just being okay as a as a as a crypto and decentralized platform. And from FIFA AI, they, they, they was having issues. So this can only be a good thing. It's about time. The department now. Hopefully, we don't get what happened in Europe where Apple is still like, oh well, we've got this process and you, you, we're currently going through it, and they're just delaying it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> We'll stop it yeah we'll see what happens over the next several months it's an exciting development it is about time let me know what you think give us a like give us a subscribe if you haven't already share it with your friends and family let's see what they think and just strive for happiness people yeah live long and oddle and i'll see you on the next one peace